On r and Reviews, I'm going to be taking a look at Lindsay Lohan's latest movie, Labor Pains. Now, it was supposed to be released in movie theaters, but then it was announced that it was going directly to DVD. And then it was announced that it would air on ABC Family Channel on July 19th, and then go to DVD on August 4th. So usually when a movie originally intended for the theaters goes directly to DVD, it usually means that the studio doesn't think the product is that good and hopes that they will make some money off the DVD but not make it as well known. In Labor Pains, Lohan plays Thea, a secretary at the Steinwald Publishing Company, and is about to lose her job from her employer, played by Chris Parnell. Lohan is supporting her sister Emma, played by Bridget Mendler. So to keep her job, she lies about being pregnant because she knows you cannot fire a pregnant woman or it will be de interpreted as discrimination. But as the movie progresses, her situation gets complicated, including when her boss leaves for six months and replaced by his brother Nick. Nick plans on expanding the company and he gives Thea the po a position of editor and a raise. Labor Pains definitely had a TV movie feel to it rather than a theatrical one. I mean the dialogue just didn't feel natural to me. It just seemed like everybody there talk talks like teenagers. I mean there's a scene where Parnell discovers a spelling error and he tells Lohan the intern shouldn't be more thorough than you are. I mean I don't think professionals working at a publishing company talk like that. Or that might be the only place that does. Now, people have debated on whether Lohan can act or not. Now, I'm one of the people that believe that she can when she's given a good script, like Mean Girls. Here, I felt like she was just reciting the words in the script with no emotion, except for a handful of scenes. She just didn't seem to be at her best here. Now, the movie I thought was slow-paced and boring at times, and her sister Emma just didn't feel developed, and sometimes she could be annoying. But surprisingly, what I liked about the movie was Kevin Coveas as the intern Greg. Coveas has been a contestant on American Idol, and I didn't think he was a good singer, and I didn't like his attitude, but I thought he gave the best acting performance in this whole movie. And Bonnie Somerville, who plays a author writing a book on pregnancy, I thought was another plus to the film. And there's a romantic relationship between Thea and a worker that I thought didn't work. And Thea's boyfriend doesn't get much to do in the film. And Cheryl Hines, I thought, was, a little, was really wasted in her role as Thea's co-worker, Lisa. There was a gag involving a barfing dog that I didn't think was funny. And there were some unfunny fart jokes to go in there as well. I must have laughed at that, at that movie maybe like two and a half times plus two unintentional laughs. Overall... I'm going to give Labor Pains a snuff it. I mean, maybe some of Lohan's fans will rent it or buy it no matter what I say, but ever, for everybody else, if you see it at the library or at a red box or on Netflix or at a rental store, just please, please select something else. Uh, Lindsay Lohan recently announced that she was going to be forming her own production company, so if that's true, I hope she can pick good writers, better, very good directors, and develop better projects. I'm Rob, thank you very much for watching r and Reviews, and if you have any comments that you would like to post or any feedback, please go ahead and do so. And we'll see you on the next edition of r and Reviews.